generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we spent a fair amount of time doing a lot of odd jobs throughout the facility so adding in some extra floor sections that I may have missed off, little window sections, changing some doors, changing classifications, putting in wall sections, putting in beds, removing things and turning the right way around, things like that and overall we I think improved the facility quite a bit, well I think it's improved because if we go over to prison grading it's now a reoffending rate of 9% so that's dropped from 40 to nine so almost half which I'm pretty happy about we also went ahead and built the first workshop on the left hand side here which I will promptly go ahead and put in some flooring I think we're gonna go with some cargo floor because I do like the look of that we'll put cargo flooring there and probably that should do quite nicely there we go uh, and also the forestry on the left hand side with the lovely fence with grass underneath all the way around the outside too in this episode I want to at minimum probably get maybe this yard done because uh, having the prisons walk over there is a little bit uh, I wouldn't say problematic but certainly it's a little bit prohibitive for them and such so getting that up would be nice and also perhaps even this extra extra room here well, this is where we have our kitchen and canteen and I don't know whether we want to put that in now or wait for the expansion speaking of the expansion if we did expand we'd have to work out exactly what we want to put in there so I'm thinking of buying the land this episode but we'll have to see I think I, I really would like to get the prison manufacturing facility completed first with that extra grant and that sort of thing but we'll see how we get on also should point out that by the time you're watching this although not when I'm recording it it's a couple of days before then the new DLC will be out for prison architect that would be the island DLC I can't remember the exact name where you can build prisons on islands with water around the outside there's also an Alcatraz one there as well well and um, I think it's Alcatraz Island and Alcatraz Prison also different options for calling in uh, certain security people as well I think I'm sure you can call like different higher grading uh, security personnel so pretty cool and um, now I, I don't have and I did ask on Twitter like what, what do you think we should do uh, my intention was never to stop this series not, not just to dead end it and move on to the new DLC I really don't like doing that and I did ask on Twitter and did a poll and it was overwhelmingly keep it going. So that sort of cemented the fact that we are not ditching the series and just wanted to confirm that. We will continue on playing with this build and this series and this prison to expand to what we originally intended or at least get one section done to see the transfer of the prison. And mainly though, I guess, what, well, not really, I don't think mainly because I, I think the main reason I don't want to move over to the new one is because I hate, like I say, stopping a series midway through. But well, one big reason is if there's still bugs in the this, what are the bugs going to be like in the new one? So, yeah, I think we'll. <laughs> I think that's a, a decent uh, call. Anyway, over to intelligence and informants. We can see we have got three new prisoners in here. One with an unknown set of traits. There, I'm just double checking across the board. Yeah, we do still have some traits here, but nothing. Uh, nothing that we need to uh, check out and put into our. Our protective custody area so this is now all working we see Donnelly is uh, walking into here and I'm guessing they've just nicked something or no, I guess they've nicked something no they went to the metal detector and it didn't set off so that's pretty good over to then utilities and to CCTV and I'm gonna place CCTV on the top and bottom there and also another CCTV monitor like so and I think also we could probably go ahead and have another couple of staff because we've got a couple of areas on here where obviously we are now having to staff that permanently so there you are and yeah I think that's just a, a decent thing to do max speed that out and we'll let them crack on with it we well there has been suggestions regarding the front bit here and maybe putting in a wall along the right hand side and then putting in the road gates on the top and bottom great idea just not at the right time the reason for that is as soon as we expand to either side we'd have to dismantle it and move it and it's just a lot more work than it needs to be what I will certainly do eventually though is uh, yeah put those put those in the advantage of doing that now though is that we would be able to have deliveries available for prisoners to go and to grab stuff which means we could probably sign them to forestry but I'm really not too bothered about that I'm really not looks like a uh, prisoner Rennie here is actually doing a reform program and I'm guessing it is concentration terrible understanding excellent attendance 47% success chance 26% and I'm guessing they're going through if we check their experience the work yeah workshop safety induction so this is now work, uh, working as intended I was gonna say workshopping as intended which is a sentence just not constructed in the correct manner anyway over to our utilities and then to connections I'm going to right click that and cancel off all of the connections for both and then we'll set up 
the usual set. So one, two, hmm, hang on. So one, two to there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although, can I write? Can I get rid of those? No, that's fine. Eight in there, and then one. Two, three. So we'll now have line of sight on these. Yep, when they're working, and that's pretty good. Excellent. And that person found weapons. I'm guessing they've nicked something from here. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Also, what we mean to do is add in some CCTV to this room as well. So we'll rotate that to the back there. It's not ideal, but. It's at least something. Obviously, we have a patrol permanently in this area, so it's not really too much of a problem there. But I think it would be worthy putting one in here just to get some line of sight, you see. Even though it's very limited, at least we can select those there. So Stephen Rennie, and I wonder if we can get... No, sadly, we cannot get them into, uh, into our uh, intelligence network. You can get informants, just... Sadly, none of them want to be an informant. Okay, so at least we are working on these license plates here, so I'm glad to see that functioning. Uh, the kitchen safety and hygiene does seem to be completely broken. Um, 22 interested, but none of them actually, actually none of them actually working on that. I'm going to set that up again just to see if that is. Uh, there's a weird problem there, so we'll start that again. We will check that. It says 22 interested between 11 and 1, and I want to unlock, because I currently haven't got it, micromanagement, and I'm just going to see exactly what's set up there. We'll check out our deployment, and that is on a custom security sector, so min and medium sec only. So if I just go to shared, it will probably fix itself straight away. Um, we'll have to reschedule all the programs which I'll do now because it's on lockup, and there we go, people immediately get assigned to that. So, yeah, it's, it's to do that custom sector thing again. So what I'll do then is I will set that to, because I should be able to do it, go over to, uh, where am I looking, I'm swinging wild here, there we go, medium sec, we're going to change those to medium sec and reschedule, and it still functions, but if I change it to say min and medium, like so, reschedule, it then doesn't work, right, so it's to do with this one, but if I just say that's a custom sector, Right, so even if I use custom sector and only put medium in, which should be the same as that, it doesn't work. Little golf clap there, thanks very much. Right, at least that's been assigned now, so hopefully that'll be sorted. Anyway, so we'll max speed this out and let the people crack on there. We do want to... See that door server is working, and they are actually working in there as well. And I don't know if they're producing license plates or not. Uh, yes, you can see there's metal... There's metal bits going on actually underneath there. Looks like the Z-index is knackered. It's going underneath the workshop saw rather than on top of it. Hmm. But, produce 30 license plates. 66%. Okay, that is functioning. Very happy. Grants then. Bank loan. Currently 25 grand. 1,225 a day. Maximum bank loan is a lot. There's a ding a ling noise to say that we have now got micromanagement. So if we wanted to, we can check our programs and edit the schedule. So let's do a test. Let's go over to uh, over to here, edit schedule. Kitchen, medium sec. Yeah, there's your kitchen safety and hygiene in that list. Good. So it's shown in the scheduler. Deployment. Medium sec, click. Done. Reschedule all programs, add the schedule, kitchen min sec. It is now shown there. So that is working exactly as it should. Deployment. Shared. Reschedule all programs. Edit schedule, kitchen shared. Job done. Now, let's see what happens when we do that. Custom. Custom security sector. Reschedule all, edit schedule, kitchen custom. It says custom. It's there. It's there. It just doesn't work. So, cool. And there we are. It's not a game changer. It's just 
slightly annoying. The main one is the visitation. That's somewhat annoying. Anyway, money. 14 grand. Receiving a couple of people a day. The problem is that we actually got a fairly decent amount of money last episode when we were when we were going through the parole programs because there was a lot of parole backed up. The people were due parole. But now, not so much because um, I went through all of that. Interesting. Last 24 hours, found a wooden pick. What a surprise, stolen from the workshop. Didn't detect it because it's a wooden pick. But we found it. But it shows you that if we go to dangers, you can see the dangers inherent with the workshop. Saw, screwdriver, hammer, drill, shank, wooden pickaxe. Saw, axe and spade in the forestry. The spade and the axe and the drill and the hammer, screwdriver, all those, not bothered about. It will be detected through this. Doesn't necessarily mean that we will immediately get it because it takes some time to search there and it also means that they could trade it and it could be a problem, but 95% of the time it will be fine. The wooden pickaxe, however, that's a big problem because that's the that's now that's now the first real way to get a digging implement. You can get it from here, from the spoons, and it doesn't say the canteen, but I think you can get a spoon from the canteen. You should be able to. And I've just realised that rope can be got from the the gym as well. Rope from the gym. So why have people not been using ropes from the gym? To be fair, I don't think I've seen people in the gym now that I think about it. <laughs> There's people in the in here, but not people in the gym. Should we attempt something? So I've changed that gym to be accessible by all. There's people now working in the kitchen, which I'm happy about. That's good. And there is a grand completion. Which is, by the look of it, the... Yeah, produce 10 license plates. Good. That's excellent. Going to decrease that bank loan. We'll probably end up going to... We're probably going to be taking that out in a moment anyway, but decrease it for the time being. There's no reason not to... Hand it back if we can. Going over to programs. Going down here. Camp to apprenticeship 7 interested. Well, we will definitely start that. Definitely start that. To produce 10 superior beds. So this gym is now in. Do people even feel the need to use it? Is the question. There is no gym time in here. So, yeah, now think of it, people use this, people use the weight, dumbbell rack, they do the running around, sit on the bleachers, they've got the common room. Not going in the gym. I don't know if that's just because they don't want to go in there, there's no need to go in there, or what? Rope, club, and medicine can be got from that location. Okay. I've not seen a rope found since we closed off this laundry. Because we don't have anyone working there. Let's see what happens in the next few days. If we find a rope, we know it's been nicked from there. Well, it'll show us if it's been nicked from there. So that's uh, quite good. Shop sale commission, good exports. Reoffending rate, 9%. Punishment, 7 Reform, 4 Security 1, health minus 1. No fatalities, no deaths. Only a couple of people escaped. Do a tunnel search. All locations. And there's some stuff that we found. These are all just being found in the toilets. Stuff down there. Don't know, don't know where you staff, uh, stash a drill, but <laughs> there you are. So, over to quick build, clone. I'm going to select all that. 
I'm going to rotate it round. And that should be it. Hmm. It says it's not going to cost much. I disagree. We'll have to see. Looks like they're cleaning the gym. Specifically cleaning the boxing ring, but they still left the blood on there. 2 out of 10. Wouldn't hire them janitors again. And what they're asking for are luxuries. They have sleep needs, but they're just sitting on the end of the bed. So I don't know why. <laughs> Let's just check, actually, from... In, uh, where would it be? Logistics and... Room quality. Ah, is it because none of these prisoners are able to go into the gym because it's too nice? That might be the case. It might be too nice a gym for them. Improve the grade of the security sector. Hmm. So going around, there's... Oh no, there we go. Occupant is titled to grade 14, and that's grade 10. So they should be able to work there. Or use the facilities anywhere. But I don't know if the grading... The cell grading, you have to be within three of the grade to be assigned to that cell. Where I don't think it's the same for the rings, the boxing rings, or the gym or anything like that. Anyway. So building up this yard, I'm not going to... Oh yeah, they look like they're using the football table and in there as well, so that's all functioning. Hmm. Anyway, building the yard. Don't think I'm going to build this. Not yet, anyway. Going to lock open these doors. And once again... Uh, where would it be? Deployment. Sign that. Yep, that's fine. Okay. So those are now set up. We don't have anyone patrolling in there. Check patrols. We do have patrol down there. Patrol around the outside and there. Don't have patrol around the outside of here. Dog patrol, rather. Which is... Perhaps an oversight. Don't know if that's an oversight. Not having a dog patrol around there, but I'd, it's unlikely that the... Protective custody people want to tunnel out anywhere. So... I think it is time to get a bank loan and expand. So, there is our expansion to the south. This is going to be low risk and very high graded. So, first things first. Standard procedure. Objects. Dismantle. Dismantle all these trees. Get that money in. Might as well. And uh, Once that's done... We'll start thinking about what we're going to do in terms of building. Now, the easy one is to put the fence around the outside, which doesn't really give us much option for what else we're going to put in here. It's going to be a fairly big, big cell block. It, in fact, I'm pretty going to cop. I think I'm pretty much going to copy these, but in terms of the size, rather, but redesign the cells so they are much bigger and have it graded that way. So that'll be the highest grade possible. That's the original intention, anyway. And I'm just going to double check. Walls and doors. See, we've got, like, wall of a grown derelict, that sort of thing. There's people suggesting that we make this solitary confinement, like, the derelict stuff and rusty. And No, we're not. <laughs> um, I understand that, but no, we're not going to be building... We're not going to be building that one there. Maybe if we put one further up, because we're probably going to have another solitary down here that will be quite nice, whereas the other solitary at the top will... That would be probably quite horrible. Anyway. So, we are... Looks like we're doing all of those trees. The logs are there, so all this is ready to sell. So that's pretty good. Like I say, I still haven't seen anyone in that gym. By all means, let us know if uh, you caught someone working there. It might be high-risk people or ones with more violent traits want to go in there. I really don't know. We've also got roll call as well, which is something we haven't done. So if you do roll call... Um, in, we've, no, I've said, anyway, we've never done it in this series. You say roll call and you immediately stand to the front there and then you can check to see if there's anyone tunnelling. I am going to do a tunnel search, uh, all sectors there, just to see if there's any tunnels, which is unlikely to be, but we can always find it. Actually, there's more chance of them having tunnels now because they have access to 
digging implements, not only from the workshop, but also over there. And there is, in fact, a digging implement there. So we found a digging implement stashed in the toilet. So that was probably going to be used to dig out. But there you are. Anyway, workers are cracking on around here. Three grants on the grow. Uh, the grow? On the go. Camdry Apprenticeship Program produced 10 superior beds. Cell block C, which is to raise the prisoner capacity to 100, and we're on halfway to doing that. Criminally Insane Wing, we're never going to do it. We're just picking up the grant because we could. That was the only reason. And there is a nice intake of prisoners. So let's go ahead and check out our informants. we got Skilled Fighter and a couple of unknown traits. While we're here, we're going to go through and check, see if there's any traits that we should be worried about to put them in protective custody, and there isn't. Strangely, the first couple of inmates that we got, certainly the first couple of intakes, we had some people that were like snitches and such, and we didn't have the place for it, and I'm just, oh, there we go, that's cool. So, they're using the rope ladders. It's a bit of a bad omen, because at the end of the day, they're going using these uh, not rope ladders, these tire ladders to go up and down to practice climbing and their goal is literally <laughs> straight ahead right in front of them where they can get over this so it's like they're going up and down like eyeing up this fence and that's what they're, <laughs> that's what they're doing they're using this to train to get over that uh, I know people have mentioned as well to put some barbed wire all on top of that. Now, it could be glib and say there's already barbed wire on top. Can't you clearly see that? But no, I know what they meant. Um, there is actually a barbed wire specific item, but it costs 200 a section and it damages them and slows them down as they're trying to climb over. The problem with that is that this is a temporary fence. So there's no real reason for me to crack on and do that. I'm going to hire a couple more workers because they have to traverse quite a large area now. So there we are. We have people still working in the workshop, which is good. They are using the presses to create these license plates. They are using the saws and also they are getting trained on the carpenter tables there. So all of this not only helps us because we gain money for them producing these things and they gain money, which in turn allows them to buy luxuries and things in, in the shop and all of that sort of stuff. So it's all, you know, benefits all round but it also increases the reform so pretty happy with that speaking of reform we should probably take a quick look at our policies uh, programs rather workshop safety induction two interest so i'm going to stop one of those there's no reason to run two there with an 80 percent pass rate that's pretty good kitchen safety and hygiene we are still running a couple of programs i'm going to probably stop a couple of those and i'll reschedule when it is lock up which i think it is now it is lock up so reschedule all Stop that one as well. Reschedule all. That's a bit better. So we've got carpentry apprenticeship, which is five interested. So we're running that. Foundation education. We have 13 interested. General education. Only one, but I think it's still worthy of running. Uh, pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. 12 finished. And no one else in the queue. So we might as well stop that. Alcoholics group four in the queue. That's fine. Parole hearing. You can have as much as you want. 33 finished with a 23 past. 69% pass rate on that one. Spiritual guidance. 10 in the queue. No problem. Behavioral therapy. Only one in the queue. But there's no way to actually run behavioral therapy in this facility. And that's it. That's all of the programs. So we've paired a couple of those down to. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Get a bit more daily cash flow. So that is fine. So, over here then, let's go ahead and go to planning and then to walls and let's start running the walls that will run along this area. So, this is just obviously a very temporary setup at this stage. I'm just going to double check the internal dimensions of 10 there, so that's fine. So, it'll go to 10 to there, so that'll run across. So, that'll be removed, that'll be removed, and then that'll run right along to there. Now, I'm very tempted to do that and have this as something whether it be common room or, or whatever like another area but i'm not entirely sure the problem is that the original intention was to grade a lot of these things and these are highly graded already these ones here but this one nobody goes in these ones the visitation we can't grade because it doesn't work same for this so i'm not too sure exactly how we're gonna have these grades here we'll see let me double check the sizing of this so the sizing of that is 28 by 23 hmm so we'd have to make it a bit bigger so 
So it would be that, would it? 28. That's not 28. It is 28. It just doesn't look right. Okay. So we can have one cell block there. One cell block there. And then something in the middle. I did need another solitary for these. And this one here will probably upgrade. Actually, what I'll do is I'll clone this over and then remove some stuff from here. <laughs> That's probably the better way of doing it. But then we've still got this section here with no purpose. Hmm. There's no point in building one big cell block. Or is there? Could we do that? Well, of course we can always do it. Nothing stopping us. We're in control. We're in charge. Let's let's amuse let's amuse ourselves with the idea for, for for the time being for the time being. Could we possibly build this as one big cell block? It is possible. Would we want to? <sighs> no, not really. Um, <laughs> the reason for that is this is going to be a low risk cell block. So we want ideally cells that are the maximum grading possible so probably a five by four already messed that up or a five by five like that let me check the let me check that so over to logistics grading at least 16 squares so a four by four would suffice it would it would. Hmm. So if we did a 4x4. Four four, there's a 4x4. Four four. So that could be that. Let's just go ahead and see what we can roughly work out. I'll unpause it and run it, run it normal speed while the crack on. Because it's still got stuff to remove anywhere. And maybe there's a slightly different sized one there. Right, so we're just toying with the idea at this stage. That's all this is. With a slightly different graded one there. Okay. So there's that. Problem is if we do this other side you've got these ones in the middle that will never be that higher graded because they've not got a window to the outside i'm not too bothered but could we do for example that right and then we cut that off and this is another cell block we could but it wouldn't work nowhere near so hmm no all right, scrap it. Another idea. Let's think about perhaps having that. And again, four by four. Apart from that one, which is a bit better graded, perhaps. And maybe that. And then along the other side, same thing. But then they don't have showers, but they'll have showers in their cells so they don't need it. So we could do something like that. Like so. Quite a small, but again, self-contained unit. Let me remove that. And I'm going to measure this. That's with a right click. That would be disastrous. 27 by 14. So. Putting them in. <laughs> it almost fits. <laughs> it almost fits. Uh, we have in the centre here a gap of three rather than 
the other ones. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we're only getting uh six oh I say we're only we're getting sixty prisoners off that. We're getting sixty. Okay. If we did that then, would I want to have this wall go along followed by ten? That was absolutely bang on. That's the first time that's happened. Um would we want to do that then and have this as like another separate building? I do because that will be our solitary. Twelve to there. So we have that is our solitary. And have a nice solitary. It's actually the way f it's actually well away from the other one as well. Do you want it even bigger? I think it's unlikely this solitary will be heavily used. Three by three. This being Low risk, you understand. Um, yeah, so it would be a bit dodgy down the bottom. It would be a very large cell. I would have to make it a bit smaller. Or we could have a security room, because we don't have a security room yet for, for these prisoners. Mm, I'm not sold on that. I think these, I think, I'm happy with these, because these will all be graded very highly and just we build one we clone it we still don't have an area for we still don't have an area for solitary for these guys I do think that's a bit of a waste of space well, that seems that seems better doing something like that and obviously the fence will come along to there and this is going to be another building for something we could have better common room we could have more gym facilities all that sort of thing in there that's probably what we'll do what I'll also do is cancel those go back to the original 27 by 14 layout which is that and this left hand side will increase by one so we can have that as solitary so we've got 50 cells plus the extra solitary for the low risk, which is very, very highly rated as well. Not that we need that, you understand. Okay, so I will go ahead and reduce our bank loan to nothing because we are receiving a nice amount of money. And we will leave it there for now. So not much building, admittedly, but we have got this planned off and extended to a point where next episode we can just crack straight on into building this thing so walls around the outside get that done build at least one of these and just go bang 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 and just place all those there's your low risk stuff get them in start working with the grading obviously then we'll know about transfers we'll also know exactly what does and doesn't work uh, <laughs> we know the visitation uh, is we have a big problem with that and mm, yeah that's a that's a bit of an issue. It is a shame that that doesn't function because this one would be fine. We can have this as high risk and only, only high risk go in there. But these ones will have to be set to something. At the moment, it's just anyone can go in there. So we'd have to set a bit to low and then a bit to medium. The other option is that we redesign this. We change this one to low risk, this one to medium risk. And then all of these will go up the top in a separate area that maybe is around here or something. Or actually will be obviously in the top. Problem with that is we've already got this room here and we hadn't accounted for all that for all the staff doors. So do we want to do that? It's a big overhaul but not a big problem. I'm leaning towards yes, but I haven't yet decided. Either way, that's a futurist problem. Current us is only focused at this stage on getting these done, as well as the walls. So we'll see how we go on next episode. As always, if you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.